I love him. He would. Oh, we should have taken a picture of it. Hell no. Send it to Uncle Roger. Sure. If you can send it to un Uncle Roger, then I'll send it to Mentally Mitch. What happened here? <laughs> I love him too. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Child of Light. All right. So before we take on the boss, because we've been getting our ass handed in battles, we're going to do a side quest. Side quest? That's right. We're going to do some trading and we're going to trade items until we get some very useful oculi and hmm. a bit of EXP. Hmm. So yeah, I figure now's as good a chance as any because we're right before the boss. I think it's interesting this game doesn't have like where you can buy and sell weapons. Yeah, there's and no goods shops and in Child of Light. Like you can just find items or I, win them in yeah. battle. Hmm. I think that adds to the difficulty, especially on hard mode. Yeah. Because I can't buy goodies. There's no form of currency, actually. That we know of. Because, I mean, like, if you think about it, there are bars and stuff, so there's got to yeah. be a form of currency. It's just not important to the game. Yeah. Because, like, even that, there was, like, a... Do you see the little flag? The hammer? Oh, yeah. It looks like a like a blacksmith. Yeah. So, I mean, there are... But in there Trials are, of like, Mana, if you see that, you can right, buy you weapons. Right, you can go in. Mm -hmm. So, it's interesting, though, that they have... Like the little hammer. Um, they have shops and stuff that look like businesses. Oh. All right, cool. Some nice tonics. And my dog is super active now. Oh, I'm so <laughs> because excited. Because the last time I summoned him. Yeah. You summoned me, father? It took him like a good while to come in here, though. Like, we heard him shuffle and then he jumped off the bed and then you heard him like stretch and like shake it out a little. <laughs> and then he meandered over. Oh, puppies. You have such a cute face. I hate it. <laughs> You're such adorable. I hate you. <laughs> like, he's so cute. Look at him. So, when we were in the City of the Mice, he gave me, like, an item that I want to trade with someone. I go to this village, and I need to trade it for another item, which then initiates... See, I didn't know that you could trade items. If, is that only on hard mode? No, it's on any mode. Like, you talk to certain characters, and they give a hint of what they want, and then you go mm -hmm. in your inventory, and you're like, I got that. Yeah, I didn't see do that. He's like, he's in a mood, so here's the apple. The apple that we got from the um, the, the mouse guy in the other village. Okay. So yeah, he wants the apple. So he's like, well, okay, take this shovel. Hmm. I hope it brings you double. So there we go. We have a shovel. Yeah, now we I, need to find someone that is in need of a shovel. I definitely didn't do that. And um, all of this is characters that we've seen before. Okay. So basically, I it's just... It's just like a um, bartering system. I actually made note on a piece of paper while I was doing this. And um, I went to the areas. And what's nice is we have fast travel. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the map of Lemuria, you can just select any area. And go there. And immediately go to that area. So you don't have to fly all over the world. I also didn't do that. I just flew all over the world. Which well, is probably why it took me like 30 hours to complete a 14-hour game. Because eh. I just meandered a lot. Again, you're not doing a playthrough, unlike myself. <laughs> so people are like, eh, she can do what she wants. Unlike me, where they scream at the screen, do something! Do something! But yeah, I think it's cool to do, like, the bartering system. It's actually a fun fact. Um, whenever I was doing door-to-door -door sales and I had, like, a team of people, um, we were all on the same team, but mm -hmm. I was, like, their leader. Uh, we used to do different games and stuff to make it interesting because, like, door-to-door -door sales can, like, really beat down your mentality. Yeah. So there were different things, like, as a leader of a team of people, I would try to do to make it fun for them. Okay. Um, One of the games was Find Linda. Okay. So, like, they had to come back and, like, tell me how many Lindas they met. Ah! <laughs> um, that Find was Karen. I found <laughs> Karen! Oh, trust me, there were plenty of Karens doing door-to-door. Um, but no, they had to find Linda. It, it was just like a helpful thing to remind them to like ask for people's names. Yeah, nice little um, activity. You know, to make it interactive. But they were also like excited to go and find Linda. I buy it. Um, the other one that we did was everyone started with a paper clip, and you had to trade your paper clip throughout the day, and mm -hmm. whoever like brought back the coolest stuff. Now watch this. One. These are the monsters we started fighting. One hit them. No Boom. problem there. Well, yeah, because they're like a level one. 
Ah, I'm feels good to kill dead. everything in one hit again. <laughs> um, it's good. But yeah, hey, look like, at that. Trish just actually leveled up. Aw, he's like, yay, I'm good for something. Yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> but yeah, whoever came back with the coolest stuff won. So and it's like, Interesting. I would get them like a gift card or... You know, some something like that uh, to encourage them to like just have fun. Well, look at you, Miss Morale Booster. I used to be really go get uh, yeah. them. Yeah, but yeah, it was fun. Like I don't know if you've one ever... too many noses in the mud made you go forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, leaving that job was really rough on me. Mm. So, up, oh, see, where do I put my shovel? So there we go. So they're going to give you clues okay. as you go by them, and they'll say, like, mm, I'm hungry, or this guy, where did I put that shovel? Oh, yeah, I just flew right past them. I was like, sucks <laughs> to suck. <laughs> like, it's not like I'm the hero of this world or anything. <laughs> well, I didn't know that I was, like, supposed to collect stuff. Yeah, in RPGs, Zelda games, a couple adventures, this take was, note of people's problems. Yeah, this was they'll my, help you. This was my first RPG, so I didn't yeah. know that I, I thought that they were just like, oh, that's cute. You can er interact. Oh, they're hungry. I'm so sorry. Hopefully well, you get dinner soon. Like, at the time of this recording, your first Zelda's right around the corner. Yeah. Be mindful of the people around you. Yeah, well, I know that now. Talk to them. See what they want. Yeah, I'm gonna and then go uh, find it. They might reward you handsomely Ooh. to make your quest a little easier. Hmm. How about that? Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, the pewter tea set that I have, but that was a, you know, someone gave that to me over the course of trading my paperclip for okay. other things. I almost stopped at the garden gnome because I really wanted to keep the garden gnome, mm. but I traded the garden gnome for the tea set. Okay. You can just mm. picture neighbors. Garden gnome tea set. Eh. I can just picture the neighbors being like, is that my garden gnome? Ah! <laughs> like, All right, so we have a lantern. And here we go. I need a light. Here, sir, to light your way. There we go. So this guy has a lantern. And now I think he's going to give us the last piece. Yes, the gold. The gold we take back to the guy that gave us the apple. And that brings the whole thing full mm, circle. Okay. Because that's all he's looking for, a gold nugget. Well, he's like a scientist, isn't he? He, yeah, he's like a philosopher. So he's back in the village of the... Stay away. Could you say Maybe. that this is... I wonder how strong this guy is. The philosopher stone. Have at you, spider. Little spider. Let's see if I can get some good EXP. I feel like that was one of my favorite demons from Demon Slayer was the spider people. Oh, you really enjoyed them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were really cool. We'll talk a little about Demon Slayer because it's one of the newest animations yeah. and it recently surpassed uh, Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah, which I, like, I'm still surprised about. Even watching it, there's certain features, sorry. I, like, I tend to move away from the mic, so if I ever get quiet, sorry yeah, about like, that. Allow I, me to begin <laughs> this tangible thought I as just, I like, lean I just, back. like, shift away from it. Um, but no, like, I, there are certain parts where I can see that it would be really popular, but to surpass Studio Ghibli, especially Spirited Away, is still surprising. To Sacrilege me. to some people. <laughs> well, it's just like I'm trying to think like how. I don't know if how it's... Miyazaki. <laughs> how Miyazaki? How? Um. But like, it has stunning animation features. Like, they use a lot of really traditional style, like Japanese artwork for the water and like mm -hmm. the lightning and stuff. Um, that I think adds a really, really special touch to it. Oh yeah. And the characters are really cool as well. I enjoy them, but. There's just, like, that quality that Studio Ghibli, like, Hayao Miyazaki puts into the films that yeah. is just so utterly unique. Whereas this anime still has, like, the anime feel to the storytelling. Okay. Like, it has that one super serious character that's like, this is my quest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. Like, right. And then you have that one character that is just, like, screaming all the time. They cry all the time. They're, uh, like, okay. overly dramatic. Like, that character still See, exists. here he is. Adolphus. He figures, ah, a fool's errand. And she's like, look at this. And he's just like, well, I'll be. I believe you've won this round. That gold nugget looks like a potato. He's like, can't be, impossible. That's a potato. <laughs> that's Clearly. A, that's a tater. <laughs> Golden potatoes do not count. <laughs> but yeah, 
I mean, like, it's it's a great anime. It just, um, I don't, I don't see how it could have passed um, Spirited Away. Well, the only, somehow it did. Like, the only thing that I can think of is Spirited Away is now an older movie, mm-hmm. which blows my mind because it still is relevant. Um, but this is something new and, like, younger fans that are getting into anime are watching Demon Slayer, but they're like, Hi, Miyazaki's not anime. Mm. You know? Yeah. So, like, I don't know if that's what it is. Um, yeah, if you watch uh, Demon Slayer, let us know why you're into it. Yeah. Because I'm like, curious. and It uh, is really good. No, you've kind of sold me on it. I think I'm going to check it out soon. I binge watched it in, like, two days. I don't do that shit. <laughs> well, I, like, had it on while I was... Cooking. Like, cooking and yeah. cleaning and working and... All should, that jazz. Should be working, but I was watching TV instead. <laughs> I mean, you just always have it on, though. Yeah. Whereas, like, if I'm doing You'll something like multitasking, on. yeah, multitasking, I do. I put on music, yeah. Whereas I'll put on like I'm uh I put on like In a lot tub, of Family Guy, cooking pork, yeah, <laughs> burn <laughs> rice, cooking pork. Oh, Uncle Roger, you burn rice. Oh, I love horrible. I love Uncle Roger. I love him. He would. Oh, we should have taken a picture of it. Hell no. Send it to Uncle Roger. Sure. If you can send it to un- Uncle Roger, then I'll send it to Mentally Mitch. What happened here? <laughs> I love him too. So those are two of like our favorite YouTubers. At least my favorite YouTubers right now is like Mentally Mitch and Uncle Roger. Yeah. Oh God, I love them. Uncle Roger, his whole thing is just watching people cook rice badly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you so doing this? And uh, mentally, Mitch, he just laughs at memes. Oh my god, his but he laugh chipmunks is his magical. Voice. He has a magical voice. It's loud as shit, though, when he oh, goes it's off. Oh, so funny. Oh, man. You're gonna die in there. No, I'm not. Lava's gonna lower. Come on now, up to it. See? I know when I'm gonna die. There's plenty times in this playthrough I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is not one of those times. <laughs> I would have died in there. Look at that, you breeze through that, no problem. I like struggled. Thank you. I have to have my moments of victory sometime during this playthrough, I'll quit it and do I a game I'm good at. struggled so hard. Like, I don't consider myself a sore loser, but I can only fail so many times where I'm just like, you know what, this is silly. Round and around <laughs> we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hate to lose. Like, I, I will lose and understand when someone is better than me. I'll get knocked down, but I'll, I'll get up again. But, like, I don't like it. <laughs> to put it bluntly, like... I don't like it either, either, but every once in a while, it's just I like, don't eh. like it either. I don't like it either. I also don't like that I can't really talk that well. <laughs> I think we just slip into accents. I think I do, too. Also, I think I'm just brain drunk. Brain drunk? <laughs> I think I just slur my words without alcohol. I do that a lot. There's, like, you know the three-headed dragon meme where the first two look really intense and then the third one's kind of derpy? Yeah. Um, there's one. I think I posted it on, like, my personal Facebook page where it's, like, um, my thoughts and it's, like, the scary dragon. My writing, yeah. it's the scary dragon. How I speak and it's, like, the derpy dragon. Yeah. And I'm like, I've never seen something so accurate to my life ever. Well, I think it, um, that's King Ghidorah from Godzilla. Okay. And, like, two of the heads, one's intellectual, the other one's aggressive, and the third one's just curious. And that was the personality. So Aww. people call the third one, like, Kevin. Oh! And you'll see it, like, it. the one's always growling, the other one's, like, kind of commanding them and screeching so the other ones pay attention. Whereas Kevin's just like sniffing <laughs> off in the distance. I love it. And like the aggressive one's like, at Kevin. It's like, oh, damn it, Kevin. I love it. It's like, for God's sakes, I mean, Kevin, that, focus. That meme has so many accurate things where it's like my artwork, my music, my personality. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, really I am like so Kevin. excited for Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah. Bring it on. Mm. I am, l- I lived through the plague to see that movie. <laughs> I, I evaded the Rona. I got the vid, man. Woo! Beat them all in one strike. Suck my eggs. Oh. Ugh. Why did that hurt more than if you would have said something else? Like, 
You're just waiting for like, all right, come on. And then you say eggs. Because you're, you're like, like, I have eggs. You don't. Mine, not yours. <laughs> They're my eggs. I need six eggs. That's too expensive. That's too expensive. I like the meme that's like, I always thought that I'd be Belle when I grew up and I'm that lady. <laughs> and so Dude, this that's woman, too expensive. I need six eggs. <laughs> that's too expensive. <laughs> I think of that every time I go to the grocery store and I'm just like, man, I'd really love some ice cream. And then I look and it's like $6 for a quart of ice cream. And I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> uh. never mind. <laughs> like. You, you kind of blanked there. Like, this is my life. I know. it's All these years <laughs> I thought I'd have adventure in the great wide somewhere. Instead. Turns out I'm the peasant NPC. <laughs> I know. That gets one line during the opening musical number. It's I bad. need six eggs. Yep. And then you're the one on the sideline going, that's too expensive. Oh my God. We're cheap. <laughs> like, Just a little like bit. Like at the end of the day. I know I'm cheap. I've established that. I'm like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Money. See, I know I'm cheap, but I also know what to not be cheap with. Like toilet paper. Yeah, like... The bills are late, but I've got good toilet paper. Well, there's like... There are some things you just don't go cheap on. Like... Dish, don't you love dish yourself? Liquid? Dish detergent. No, dish liquid. Okay, like, dish liquid. Like dish soap. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't go cheap because you will have grease all over everything. Mm. Like, it's Dawn dish liquid or bust, man. Sounds like you've learned that from experience. Yes, I have. And I've learned the toilet paper from experience. Oh, no. Where it just tears right through and you're just oh, like, no. well, we're here now. Oh, no. Oh, worse. You have to, like, shuffle over to the sink. <laughs> you, you do your business and then you hop into the shower. do 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 like, if I'm ever just like, gotta go take the Browns to the Super Bowl, and then you just hear the water running. You're like, well. <laughs> Time for a bath. <laughs> There's a, I think but an episode. But that's Charmin. Oh, uh, never have an issue with Charmin. See, Charmin, like, it sounds weird, but I feel like Charmin was too thick. Nah, just thick enough for my behind. You have like shards of glass on your butt like <laughs> i don't know it was just nice enough for my winnie the pooh bear okay it worked well we use angel saw double quilted i mean so far no complaints <laughs> okay you don't hear me saying help <laughs> help slide a roll through the through the laundry chute <laughs> like slap well because the laundry the laundry chute just in the attach it an emergency roll around Luna's neck <laughs> <laughs> as she comes into the door. Oh my god, that is still like my favorite. Like those St. Bernard's with like the rescue things. <laughs> that is still my favorite thing ever. It's just the evolution of you realizing that you're never going to be in the bathroom by yourself ever again. No, I have a bathroom buddy. It was so funny. I think we've talked about it before, but like just to reiterate the cat, like in the morning he used to go like, Luna, stop. No, get out. Luna, go. And now it's just like, hey bud, what's up? <laughs> like, hello. Like, it's so funny to hear in the morning. What's up, buddy? You're just like, hey, Luna. <laughs> I'll always take Luna over Mr. Like, coming in too hot. <laughs> Milo <laughs> just, like, goes right, and then, like, he's like, oh, there's a wall there. Yeah, my, my other right cat, before he Milo, hits it. I don't understand what's wrong with him. It's almost like there's little operators in his brain that just do not communicate with each other. Like, the eyes do not communicate with the legs at all. And he'll, like, come into the room so hot and almost hit a shelf and then just immediately stop all of a sudden right before he hits it. And, like, oh, there's a shelf here. Yep. Like, oh, God, this cat. He's he's funny. He's the ancient one that by yeah. now you've learned that he licks outlets. Yeah. He licks outlets. Amongst other weird things. He eats kitty litter. He also looks at the dog way too close. <laughs> the dog <laughs> like, is uncomfortable. I know. Poor, we like, <laughs> poor Wesker is like, is someone going to stop him or? <laughs> Come on, man. Six feet. Six feet. <laughs> like, Where's your mask? Oh, my God. This God. cat. This cat. I can't. And like when he hacks, he sounds like a lawnmower trying oh. to start it. <laughs> Because he was purring so hard. Oh, I was just like, oh, he he's so content. <laughs> and then, and then like his purr. 
seamlessly transitioned into a hairball. So you're like, <laughs> <laughs> uh he is also the cat that like when we were having that terrible day of like my mom being in the hospital the furnace died my car died and he just throws up in the kitchen like cherry on your day <laughs> i was just like this goddamn cat upset all right well that side quest really helped because now we're doing a lot better during these battles yeah so i think in the next part we're gonna take on the boss Ooh. so yeah we're making progress. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. Do it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. All right. Vulnerable so we'll, to water. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next part. Toodles.